Yo guys, welcome back to my... Yo, welcome to my little play of the UFC 3 beta on the Xbox One. I really like this. Do a couple of fights on there. Such a big improvement. It's, it's one thing watching someone play it and then playing it yourself. Because just watching it before playing it doesn't do it justice to the improvements. The um, it's it's pretty tough t to get used to, but once you're used to it, you know it's, for basics it's all good. It's just like doing certain techniques is hard. Like I've tried different button combinations for certain fighters to get their special moves or their you know their fighters technical moves but it's only when I fight the computer on the harder settings that you actually see the computer using them but you can't use them yourself so don't know what that's all about but well, I guess we'll find out when the actual game's out one of my only beefs is they've taken away the uh, finish the fight thing where once you knock them down you can get on them and just bash the fuck out of them which is what everyone loves to do because it happens in real life. You know, I hate when they take a bit of the realism out of the game. But what I do love is the the footwork and the head movement on this is just awesome. And a lot, I find a lot of people slating it because they're trying to button mash and do combos. But the thing is, if you know like real life technical combos, like if you've had experience in training in like you know boxing, Thai boxing, or whatever, it comes easy to you game wise. Once you know w which button does what punch and kick, you, you know you can do the combos fine. Plus, um, I love the techniques of the low kick on this, and I love that there's like long distance, medium, and then there's close distance. Um, to how your fighter throws the strikes. So, um, I've done Thai boxing in the past, so I love the way the fighters throw their low kicks on here and their body kicks. You can actually really see, you know, depending on how far you're closer to your opponent, like how much power they put into it. So, I've chose Edson Barbosa, which is this dude here, because he has some wicked low kicks. He has some wicked uh, Thai boxing stand up. You remember so. the knockout of Terry Adam, obviously. This guy gets his foot off the canvas and to the target. And just like the commentator just uh, mentioned there, was he did a spinning wheel kick once against an English fighter called Terry Adam and just knocked him and stiff out, man. It was brutal. And you can actually do that in this by holding, um, I think it's RB, LB, and B. So, anyway. Let's get in here and do this. For this, is this is just videos my impression of this beer. Which is there's definitely improvements to be made for sure. Round one. But uh, it's really good. So you got the head movement lit. Which is awesome. And that's separate to blocking. He is trying to stay more defensively responsible. Easier said than done when you have as many... And it's really good to faint, as you can see. If you just click the analog in, you can switch stances, which is awesome. So just showing the movement now. When it comes to the kicking game, we mentioned it on his walkout tonight. Massive power in those kicks. Let's see how he chooses to attack with a hero. Good defense there. Oh. Oh. Body kick, look at that. Both guys really throwing with authority. Huge block there. Oh, nice punch there by Barbos. I'll actually do a couple of fights online as well at some point. Really threw everything into that uppercut but fell short. Oh, got tagged there. Three minutes to go in the tagged him back. Oh. Gone for the head kick. Oh, straight right. Hurt him with that uppercut. 
Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Oh, nice job to land that first kick to the body. Plenty more where that came from. That one hurt. Stung him with a combo there. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, beautifully placed with the hook. Oh, he got me down. And he gets him down. Should be able to get up easy. Beautiful sweep. If I start getting really beaten in the stand-up, I'll go for a submission. Huge uppercut misses. And when you sway, whatever side you sway, if I sway right and do a right hook, it's really effective. Same if I do it to the left. I'll demonstrate in a minute. See that? Just from leaning. See. There you go. I'll let him get back up. Oh, he heard him with that. Oh, tagged me there. Hey, <laughs> both went for the kick. He didn't miss with that uppercut. Clean jab there by Barboza. <laughs> After the buzzer. So the round is over mercifully for his opponent. Multiple knockdowns there. Big, big round from Edson Barboza. Complete. So this is on normal difficulty. It's not too hard, but it's a little bit of a challenge, you know. Amazing that the fight wasn't stopped. Here's a devastating kick that results in a knockdown. <laughs> They do actually give you pointers in between rounds, but what I've noticed, obviously, because it's the beta, is it just repeats, you know, similar things over and over again. But I'm looking forward to the completed version, definitely. Right, round two. Let's go for a powerful mid kick. There, you can just see, like, the power that he puts into it. Edson Barboza is one of the best Fucking hell, he's getting me now. Mixed martial arts. He has an excellent overall striking game, a very good... He changed stances. Should be able to dig the low kick into his thigh. Beautiful kicks. Barboza's strike attempt there is blocked. Well, he leans right into that... Nice free hit combo there. Certainly something that bears watching here moving forward. I know he's confident in his... He'll try and slip that jab always. ...walking right into the pocket to absorb that hook. Nice one-two there. Poirier's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. The oh! Vicious combo there! This could be it! Just notice when you sway and punch, it makes a massive difference. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Yep. Fucking hell. I've got to get the head movement in there. Just missed with the huge Whoa! kick. Wow. Oh. Fucking eat that. See, now you should be able to get on him and hit him, but there's no finish to fight. I hope they bring that into the main game because that would fucking suck otherwise. about execution, and he just couldn't have done it any better than that. He is known for his kicks, and that was just a perfectly placed in time kick. Full force, landed flush. Full extension with the leg, and you knew that it's just the footwork and the way they move around the cage now is awesome. So much more realistic. Bang! And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution. The damage is pretty good on their face and stuff. The official decision is in. I just like how it is. It's m way more realistic in the sense that if you use your head movement and you land a proper heavy counter that you can literally knock them out. If their footing's off and their stamina's low when they're throwing a strike and you counter it with a heavy strike, you most likely will knock them clean out, which is 
really good. But anyway, so that was just my little thoughts on UFC 3 beta. I'll make a little playlist for this and I'll show some online fights against other players. So, see you in my next videos. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed that. If not, go fuck yourself. After this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight.